Thank you. Thank you, fellow Rotarians. My name is Michelle Tanner and I am an immunisation education facilitator. I work for Auckland University in the Immunisation Advisory Centre. I'm actually in Wellington, so I've come down and I've presented at a conference over the weekend. And um, I have been a Rotarian for about eight years in the Rotary Club of Matamata. Now we are the opposite end of the spectrum to you guys. We are a very rural club, about 80% of our members at one point were dairy farmers. Um, but we have, I was just um, talking to Nick, and we have a, um, a great practical skills base in our, in our club. Um, we are very keen supporters of Polio Plus and it work, fits very nicely in with my work role as well. I now am a club secretary and I have, am also a co-chair on our District 9930 Polio, uh, Polio Plus Committee. Now I am also, one of the projects that I'm also involved in is World's Greatest Meal, which is what I wanted to just highlight with you today. World's Greatest Meal is a project that's been going for about two years now. It's uh, in, endorsed by Rotary at the very highest levels, uh, Gary Huang has just attended a um, world's greatest meal event very recently and the purpose of the event is to get uh, Rotarians and other people to raise money for polio eradication through a meal based event so it's it's having fun and raising funds at the same time and originally the plan was around getting as many people to sit down to a meal on the 23rd of February 2013 but it's now grown to a 365 years uh, sorry days a year event mm -hmm. And uh, we encourage Rotarians to organise. Um, it could just be a few of you getting together for a coffee. It could be a teddy bear's picnic. It could be pros. It could be your finds collection from a, a particular Rotary evening. In Matamata, we recently did um, a rural urban dinner where we raised almost ten thousand dollars. Now we're a town of four thousand people. Um, but we, from our community, we raised nearly $10,000 for polio eradication. And that was a specific meal, but an event that we had organised. We had a speaker from Auckland University, uh, sorry, from Waikato University. And um, I did a short talk at the beginning to talk about Rotary's involvement in polio eradication and why we raising money at this time is so important. Um, as well as World's Greatest Meal, I'm also involved in Purple Pinky Day, which is on uh, World Polio Day on the 24th of October. And if you may, you're probably aware that when children get vaccinated in third world countries, their, their, their pinky of their left hand gets painted purple so that they don't get revaccinated the same on the same um, day. And we, so Purple Pinky Day is about raising money, and that's working in, um, in schools and uh, fundraising. Uh, through street collections, excuse me, <coughs> street collections outside New Zealand post shops, and we've got New Zealand post shop on board with that. Um, now, in in a country like New Zealand, where obviously we don't see polio, there are only three countries in the world where polio is still endemic. Nigeria and Afghanistan, we're pretty much on top of that. Um, Pakistan is the big problem, and that's mainly because we have areas of Pakistan where we cannot get immunisations into at all because of tribal or uh, because of unrest in those areas. But in in countries like New Zealand, our role as Rotarians is to raise awareness and raise funds for the polio eradication program. And when it comes to raising um, awareness, I actually uh, just out of interest, I looked up to see what. New Zealand or what the New Zealand government gives to what the Global Polio Eradication Initiative which was started by Rotary and other organisations. We wrote the polio eradication effort would not exist if it wasn't for uh, fellow Rotarians. We are the drivers of that program. We got that program going. It's the biggest public health initiative the world has ever seen. And we really are this close to polio eradication. We just need to get it finished. So we need a big funding effort going on. Now, New Zealand, <coughs> since 1985, New Zealand has donated 2.81 million US dollars to the Global Polio Eradication Initiative. We've given nothing since 2010. Compare that with Ireland. Now, Ireland has a country of about six and a half million people. They have donated 27.24 million US dollars. We've given 2.8. Luxembourg has a population of half a million. They have donated 15, over 15 million US dollars. The Netherlands, 
Four times bigger than us, they've given over 50 times the amount of money that we have to polio eradication, 113 million US dollars. Now I know we do a lot of work in, in um, Pacific Islands and that's where a lot of our focus is, but the World Health Organization has declared polio eradication as a global health emergency. And I think that at this point in time, we really need to be doing more than we are. So I would encourage you to lobby for our, our government to give more money to polio eradication, and I would encourage you to consider what you as a club can do, you as a Rotarian and you as a member of society can do to help global polio eradication. Thank you.